Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Today is gonna be absolutely hectic. Why, you may ask? Well, my day actually started at seven o'clock this morning. It's actually 10 o'clock in the morning right now, but at 11 o'clock, we have our first one hour tour. And right as that tour ends at noon, we actually have a two and a half hour birthday party right here at the Reptarium. But halfway through that birthday party, I actually have to pack up animals because I have a zoo to you birthday party that I have to travel to. And right after that, we have to rush back here to the Reptarium because I have another hour tour that goes right to four o'clock when we open at the Reptarium. But before all of that gets started, I actually have a couple clutches of ball pythons that hash out that I want to share with you guys. We have a couple cool clutches starting with this yellow belly clutch bred to a black pewter cypress. Of course, that's a pastel. That's a black pastel and it's a cypress. So uh, some really cool combinations here. To be honest with you, we got a couple just black pewters, which are just the pastel and the black pastel. I love these guys because they've got that beautiful silvery look to it and stuff like that. But these guys have been produced for a long, long time. Still really cool animals and absolutely awesome. Then we actually, pretty cool, got this animal here, which is actually a black pewter cypress. You can really tell that cypress coming through with this dorsal line and just how it's a little bit more clean than the other ones. And that's something that that cypress gene really does is clean things up. Then we actually just have a black pastel here, uh, which is just a single gene animal. Again, that's part of the black pewter type of thing. I absolutely love the way this animal turned out here. This is actually a black pastel yellow belly. Just really beautiful, that yellow belly and black pastel mixed together, both co-dominant animals. Unbelievably beautiful, there's no doubt about that. And then actually, one of my favorite animals in this clutch really wasn't that unbelievably crazy, but I think it's just absolutely gorgeous, is this black pastel cypress animal. So this animal just doesn't have the pastel in it, so it's not a pewter, but I just think it turned out absolutely amazing. I mean, the oranges and the colors in it, it's really cool. And again, I'm so bummed that we're getting to the last clutches of the year, but nevertheless, some really gorgeous babies in this clutch. And this clutch is actually in blue right now, so it hatched a couple days ago. We need to set these guys up. It was just a fire yellow belly bread to a normal ball python. So basically we have like just a fire. I know it's a little hard when it's in blue like that to really see, but the fire is of course a co-dominant mutation. The super form is the black eyed leucistic. And then we have some fire yellow bellies. We have one, two, and three fire yellow bellies. And oh, guess what? A fourth fire yellow belly. So all in all, this was a pretty cool clutch. It looks like we've got two fires, one normal, and four fire yellow bellies. I mean, that's pretty good odds when it comes to double go down mutations to a normal, I can't complain. Once these things shed out, I'll definitely give you an update. They are really beautiful and a great building block for better things. When you get into orange, green, you get into pastel, you get into a bunch of different stuff, you can really kind of build out some amazing animals because the fire gene really enhances and lightens things up. And of course, that yellow belly kind of adds all that flaming and brightness to the size as well. So again, not a super crazy clutch, but still pretty darn cool. And then finally, we just had two eggs in this clutch. This was actually just a normal bread to a cine cypress. So much like that first clutch, it was a cine cypress instead of a pewter cypress. So there was no pastel in it. We got a normal ball python, but then we ended up getting this really gorgeous cine cypress right here. Again, you can tell that dorsal striping. Once this sheds out, it's super clean, has more of a rich color than a normal cine. So absolutely incredible. Hit the odds really good on this clutch considering there was only two eggs. Again, only a couple more clutches to show you guys for there. But don't worry, we're going to be making content all winter long but uh that's it for baby ball pythons let's just get going with our hectic day and my first tour is in the house what is your name again Kaden Kaden it's good to meet you guys thank you so much and where are you from again England England oh my god I love it man you guys are gonna have a great time so uh let's have some fun all right nice. let's get started Okay, first tour done really, really amazing, but hectic as heck. I actually have to get everything packed up. I think Lori has most of the stuff packed up now. And then we've got like a 50 minute drive to this. It, it is gonna be so tight to get there and get back in time for my next tour. So uh, it's time to hit the road.
Okay, so we are <laughs> off to this birthday party. Are you excited? I'm super excited. <laughs> you are always excited. A bunch of excited. teenage girls I can get fashion tips from. It's uh, gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Now this is gonna be a really good time. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I hear that they watch the vlog, so it's gonna be really fun. And then we gotta literally <laughs> hightail it. As soon as we finish up, we've gotta hightail it back as I got a tour. It's gonna be really tight. By the time we get back, uh, the tour is gonna probably be there. So, uh, gosh, this is, it's is been a fun day, but an absolutely hectic day. But your life is always like that, so when I come visit, I'm prepared for it. You're prepared, that's, <laughs> all right. All right, let's go do this. Headed to a birthday party in Michigan. What's Whoa. back there? What? Oh, Brian. <laughs> oh my gosh! I told you, Snakes out! out. Just, just what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I gotta climb back here. What are you doing? Get back in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get back in there. What are you doing? Got it. Save the day. Snake was loose in the back. Savannah saved the day. We're at the birthday party. Uh, you're the third birthday girl? Well, happy birthday. So you ready to have some fun? Yeah. Okay, say hi to YouTube for me, guys. Hi. And they're called grunts because they make that noise. If you were really quiet, you can hear it. <laughs> so, alligators and crocodiles. like they have hiccups. Yeah, alligators and crocodiles talk to each other all the time. People don't know that, but they communicate with each other through little sounds like that. Then how did you know that? Huh? You said that people don't know that. Then how did you know that? Well, I'm a special people. That's how I knew that. She talks alligator. So, uh, and I talk to them too. Do it. I was talking to salt and pepper actually it goes like this like Excuse you. <laughs> hey guys Hi. Tell you what, that was an absolute best you have fun Savannah that was so fun. <laughs> so, fun. so we have like uh, just enough time to get back to the shop and get ready for this next tour before we open up tonight what a crazy day but man that was awesome And I literally just got back in time. How are you? Good. What's your name? Maria. Maria? Hey, I'm Mike. Hi, guys. It's good to meet you. Where are you guys from? Akron, Ohio. Akron, Ohio. Well, thank you so much for coming. Sorry I'm just on time and not early. <laughs> no, okay. right here. So uh, let's go ahead and just look around, all right? Okay. All right, cool. Let's sit. He probably smells some delicious meats on my shoes from cutting all that meat at Gatorland. Time to open up. <laughs> Having a fun time, I tell you what, it was absolutely a crazy hectic morning, but now we're open at the Reptarium, just a bunch of people having a good time holding animals, uh, finally getting a chance to take a little bit of a breath after an absolutely mm -hmm. insane day. Okay, so I hear uh, my boy here from the UK has a story about what you did this afternoon. What was up? I found a garter snake. You found a garter snake? <laughs> 
Where at? Where'd you find it in this weather? Uh, we found it in the hotel. In the, <laughs> on the found parking lot. In the parking lot. Oh my God, that is awesome. That's crazy, I mean, right? No, it, it's like maybe 60 degrees outside. It is sunny, <laughs> but it is definitely a chilly autumn day here. So that's an awesome find, Look at man. how great that photo is. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. So in case you guys didn't know, Savannah has an absolutely amazing blog. She has an absolutely amazing blog that she puts out. I'm going to put a link in the description. It's all your adventures at Gatorland. It is. It's uh, amazing. And so what do you think? I know this is the second time you've been up. Yes. Uh, did you have fun today? Yes. Sorry. I mean, I had fun last time. I have more fun this time. Really? All right, yeah. Sure. Awesome. And tomorrow, I feel like I know everybody better now. Yeah. And tomorrow like, we're going and to... Bruce and everybody like, and now I feel like family. That's the, well, first family. I was, the first time I was, the first time I a little nervous, you know. No, you're always family. And tomorrow we're actually going to some gators. Yes. So you're excited about that? I'm super excited you know, about that. That's what I love about Savannah. She literally works with gators and on her vacation, she goes to work with gators. The so, first thing I did this morning when I came in here, when you were in the other room, was go straight to the alligators. I swung it open and they were like, <laughs> <laughs> And that's dedication. And that's why I love her so much is because she has that true kind of passion that everyone needs in what they do. So again, go show her some love and uh, I'll put a link in the description tell her I sent you. Gatorland Vlogs, you have to check it out. It's basically a day to day at Gatorland and it's so much fun. Yep. More fun if you get to know the animals. Brian's been there a bunch of times. I can't wait to have you back so you can see the new white alligator habitat. Oh my gosh, yeah, I cannot wait. Definitely gonna go back in December. We're gonna have a great time with them. Again, show her some love for me. I appreciate it. As we're winding down here at the Reptarium with just about an hour left to go, we still have the crawl movie tonight, but it's definitely been a busy day. Again, we've been going for like 11, 12 hours already. Really, really hectic schedule. No breaks, no time for anything. But the truth is, is that this is what I love. You know, if you want to do something like Savannah or myself, where you're kind of following your dreams, you're going to have to work really hard. I mean, that's just the way it goes. A lot of times people think that stuff is just given to you, but it's days like this that really make what you want to do actually successful. And to me, yes, it was hectic. Yes, I haven't had one minute and it was like, oh my God, am I going to be able to do everything I do? But the truth is, is that I absolutely love this. It's unbelievable to have a day like today at the end of the day. It's so amazing and it was such a good day. We met great people. We hung out with great people. We had great parties. Now we're about to have a crawl movie. It's going to be absolutely incredible. You know, there's a saying that I really love and it says that do things that most people won't so that you can do things that most people can't. And that's what it's all about, right? It's being able to live the lifestyle. I always say that I do this so I can continue to do this. I don't do this to get rich. I don't do this because of anything other than the fact that I want to be able to wake up in the morning and do this every day for the rest of my life. And days like today, although unbelievably busy, still are absolutely amazing. You guys have fun today? Uh huh. What's your favorite thing? The alligator. Uh, no, my favorite thing was everything. Alligator. All right, alligator. Thank you for coming. But the alligator is the best. Oh, I see Savannah. Savannah's got you in your ear. Say area. alligator. <laughs> I got to ask you a question. Yeah. Do you think this looks a little bit like Savannah? No. No. It doesn't. Do you think if I kiss it, it'll turn into a prince? Yeah. <laughs> she thought that's funny. <laughs> with the insanity today, I'll be honest with you. Every now and then, I just have to take a breather because it was definitely insane today. So I just thought I would come down and take a look at some snakes and kind of take a breath, get my head kind of wrapped back around myself. I wanted to show you an animal that I really love. This is actually an extreme Enchi pinstripe. Now the extreme gene is something that I don't think a lot of people really pay much attention to in the ball pythons. It basically just reduces the pattern. It's really an amazing animal and it's kind of a sleeper when it comes to ball pythons in my opinion. I mean just take a look at how amazing this animal is right here. And this is basically just a banana extreme gene right here. Again, it's not like an extremely insane animal by itself, but once you start mixing into other mutations, in particular, when you get into reduction of pattern like spider and pinstripe, it really makes some pretty stop. It really makes some pretty astonishingly. It really makes some pretty incredible animal. Hank, for instance, this lemon blast extreme gene. I mean, the thing is crazy. Just look at the yellows up the side and the reduction of pattern. That extreme gene really does some amazing stuff when you start mixing it into things like this. I just need to take a minute away from all the hustle and bustle of the Reptarium and the craziness of the day. You know, some people meditate, some people listen to music. I like to look at snakes. When I look at snakes, it just kind of calms me down, gives me a chance because it's been such a manic day. I'll be honest with you, my brain started to spin out of control. And I was like, oh my God, I got to take some deep breaths. I got to get downstairs and just look at some snakes. And uh, already I'm feeling much better. So I'm ready to get back over to the Reptarium. Give a round for Savannah, please. Yeah. Yeah. Last advice about this movie. 
Cheer for the alligators, not the humans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a good time, guys. Absolutely bonkers day today, but it was a ton of fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, here's another video that I have a feeling you're gonna really enjoy. Here's a playlist right here that I think you'll also enjoy. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button and turn those post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.